Welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I have another box, another fashion box. Trend Sin by Ever Eve. I've only ever had them on here a couple of times. The first time was back in like 2016. It was a while back. We did one uh, fall of last year and I was super impressed, pleasantly surprised with what I got. So I thought we need to do another one spring this year. This is a you decide how frequent clothing subscription box. I do on demand so I can rotate all my favorite boxes and so that's what I do. They do have a $20 styling fee which is applied towards your purchase. They have free US shipping and they do ship to USPS and PO boxes. You can go down below and use my URL to sign up. When you sign up down there, you get 20% off every item in your first box. I've also been seeing uh, it float around that you get on your first box $1 styling fee. So you may see that pop up as well when you go to that link below. They carry sizes extra small through extra large. If you keep four or more items, you save 10% on the box. And typically in each box are two to three hand selected looks, complete looks with about six to eight items inside. Average price point is about $80, which is very stereotypical for these type of boxes. I feel like the $75 to $95 range is where they all fall. Okay, let's open this up. I do remember last time I even got some sell items in there because I do know they ship sell and clearance items, which is really cool. Ooh, good colors on top. That's exciting. So right here, my little guy is a note from my stylist, Jill. She said, happy trends in day. Spring is here in this box is a great refresh, gorgeous colors, mom friendly styles, great for your closet. Oh, and then it breaks down, I have four different outfits and she actually writes in here what items go in there and how the look is composed. You don't have to do anything, completely thought free, which is something I love. Next is the packing slip showing all of the items inside and the total. In my box, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. The most expensive item is $142.40. Woo, I saw the first item and we're gonna chat. We're gonna chat about that. And the cheapest item is $62.40. So a little higher than I would say the average price point they sent. I don't know what I have mine set on though. I uh, forgot my budget, but it's, it's either the very lowest or closest to the very lowest. Oh, and it does have an asterisk. I was like, why does it have an asterisk? It says these prices reflect a 20% referral desk discount. Thank you for sharing trends in. So all of those prices I shared with you are the discounted prices. That is good to know. Okay, in here is the bag with the postage on it for anything that does not work out. I simply set it in here and go take it to the post office and ship it back, super easy. So I've got these two items here, these three items here, Oh, I popped it open. And it looks like three items here. I think that's the same, but we'll see. Woo! It wasn't this box last time that when I opened it, I threw all the clothes everywhere. Let's start with outfit one here on the sheet, which says I need the cut from the cloth jacket and the jumpsuit. I think that's this grouping right here. Okay, let's go. Here is outfit one. Super, super, well, the jumpsuit super comfy. The jacket is actually like really stiff and smells weird, which is kind of annoying. But this jumpsuit is perfect for the busy day on the go and spontaneous dinner plans. The color will be stunning on you and the denim jacket is perfect to layer to slip over the top. The Dana tie sleeve jumpsuit by Ever Eve. Oh, love it, in olive. And the Julia denim jacket from Cut From The Cloth. Um, I already have a denim jacket I freaking love, and I'm not a real big fan of this one, so this is a hard no really quickly for me. This jumpsuit though is amazing, super great. I love the color, I feel very, very pretty in the color. I feel like it's very forgiving, like it's got a really good, I don't know, I don't feel like I have to like focus to hold my tummy in. I do think it's great to wear a jacket with, like leather jacket, even a sweater, like a creamy sweater would be cute with this. I don't own anything like it, which I love. I like that it works great in length with just a regular flip flop, like the sandal I have on now. I really like this. Okay, the Julia Denim jacket is 79.20, just fine, not a fan. 
The Dana tie sleeve jumpsuit is $94.90. Now remember, these are the discounted prices with the 20% off. I digress there, because this is super cute. I do think this is a great outfit for me. I think $100 price point for this is very, very fair. I wonder what the washing instructions are. When I swap my outfit next, I'm gonna look into that because I don't like things that have super intricate, delicate, dry clean only washings. A few of those items are great, but you know when you get too many, it's exhausting, so. What do you guys think about this? I have so many cute jackets to layer with, I'm not worried about that. But does this look pretty? Is it flattering? Does it make my no booty really look like no booty? What do we think? Next, I wanna do outfit two. It is the dress that was in that same package. So let me go throw it on real quick. Um, Love the color. This color is so me, it's vibrant, it's bright. It's definitely too big. I'm like praying we don't have like a, a moment here together on the camera. I'll move really gently. Uh, obviously sleeves won't stay up. Um, it, it's just too big for sure. But even if it wasn't too big, I'm trying to decide if it's my style. It has pockets I'm noticing. Love me some pockets. I don't know if it, I, I don't know. I typically won't do off the shoulder, but I'm wondering if, oh, 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 stay on, stay on. Woo, woo. I'm still feeling like I'm flashing y'all. I don't know if it, the sleeves were like this and it fit me. What do we think you guys? So does, if it's like this, do we think it's cute? A sleeve that stays on? I don't even know if they have the size. I do love the big old frilly sleeves. It's super fun. It's got a great color. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this sucker. I did go look at the jumpsuit, and the jumpsuit is uh, delicate wash, line dry, and you saw how wrinkly it is. So that's something I definitely have to noodle. Because I'm at a stage where I have little kids, if I have something that has to be delicate washed, line dry, and then it takes a long time to iron, um, I have a tendency not to pick it up and put it on. So I only wear it on special occasions, and I'm just not a stage in my life where I have a lot of special occasions. So. I never really think about if I want to spend $100 towards something I probably only get a handful of wares out of. So, y'all let me know what your thoughts are on that. This guy is the OPT Tuscany dress, cobalt blue. Oh, this is the extra small. So yeah, I doubt there's another one. It's $135.20. Um, the material is really stiff and not very soft, but it's a lot of material and it's very pretty. I would. I would pay 135 for this. Yeah, I would. It's got the pockets, it's got the scrunching, it's super summer, spring fun. Um, just obviously I'm having to hold it on here with you guys. It's too big. So, and the 135.20 remember is the 20% off price. It's actually a little bit more than that. Outfit three is the denim update number one. And it says, Edwin has super soft fabrics and this pair is no exception. Perfect for momming and style. Give these statement tops a half tuck to add shape. And it has a sweatshirt, a blouse, and some pants. It's gotta be this guy. Okay. What do we think? Look at these little sleeves. Do we like this or not? Part of me is like, oh my gosh, I love it. And then like the other part is like, no, it looks weird. It looks like I have shoulder pad wings. But then I go right back to, no, I do love it. <laughs> I need y'all's opinion. So here's the full shirt. The material's like a really soft, I'm guessing, polyester. Yeah, 100% polyester. Uh, machine wash cold, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. That's great. Uh, it has not only, it like, has like this like gathering right here on the sleeves that I love. So technically you could scrunch it up and puddle your sleeve if you wanted to. It does both not a button which i'm kind of digging i like that so i don't know what do you guys think of the shirt and then here are the pants i'm close on the pants i'm not in love but i'm close the button is really really cheap plastic really cheap so that button's not gonna last long already it's like straining to hold and the pants are look the pants aren't too tight they're actually maybe even a little bit big and that button's barely hanging in there. Um, I also, right, we're I, we've been talking about the straight leg pant and those of us who are in the skinny leg side part generation, 
What are we thinking about these? I think these are the best looking ones yet. They look cute with a sandal. I can just tell these jeans are a really great stretch material and they're gonna be too big and stretch out too much for me. This is the Edwin Brie straight leg jean. And these are 134.40 with the 20% off. I like them, but they're not a huge win. They're very close though. And then this top is the Lucy Ruffle Sleeve by Every Eve in Orchid Lilac. No, 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 that's the sweatshirt. We'll do that next. This is the Daphne Floral in Navy Blush, which is $70.40 the sale price. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. What do you guys think? I don't know. And then this is the sweatshirt that was in here. Let's just throw it on over the top. The sweatshirt up against this shirt kind of makes it have a fun little pop of color. We in Texas are in like this weird weather stage where like literally it can start in the mornings at like 20 or 30 degrees, but by midday at 75, 80. It's like super, super weird. So having a really great cute sweatshirt to put over something is all the way a great item thing to have. I also am all about tying my sweatshirts or hoodies around my waist. This is cute. Look at the sleeves. Can y'all see this like zigzag pattern right here on both arms? Look at it, see? That's kind of cute. I like it, but I don't love it. I think the lilac color is fun. Great for Easter, very springy, but I don't like super love. So this sweatshirt is $62.40. I think it's fair. It's good. I just don't love it. It's not like screaming at me love. This next outfit is my fourth outfit. It has a Goldie Riley high rise straight jeans. Some of y'all may be going, what was that again? We'll come back to that. And the scarlet pullover. We go grab this and go throw this on real quick. Here's outfit three. I have to say, my stylist definitely nailed it as far as like understanding what my wants are, understanding what my needs are and what my look is. Like every one of these, I've liked them. I'm just trying to decide if they're really perfect. I'm getting literally dozens of boxes in right now because I'm just doing a lot of clothing shopping. So I'm trying to be picky, but I have to say big thumbs up on nailing the style. This shirt is so me, so cute. I do wish it was in a more fun, bright color as I'm moving into spring, summer. I really have a tendency to go bright like that blue dress, but okay. I love that it's form fitting, but it's forgiving. It's not like so form fitting that I feel panicked about my tummy. Love this little puff sleeve, like so pretty. V neck, you can't see my scar. It's very flattering. Love the top. These jeans, this is the second time I've gotten these jeans. My first time was in my trunk club. I'm gonna try to pop a photo up here beside me. I'm gonna go on this. Okay, I'm gonna put other me over here if I can find a good photo of me. I'll probably have to screen grab it out of the video so it could be a little bit crazy. But this is the second time I have gotten these jeans. Isn't that wild? So. These are the Riley High Rise Straight Jean in the color Transfer by A. Goldie. Last time I got the A. Goldie Riley Ripped Super High. So this is just high. Last time they were super high. Crop Straight Jean. So, I mean, <laughs> the biggest difference is these are not distressed and they're just high waist. Last time they were distressed and they were super high. Um, I returned them last time because they were a size too small and I couldn't exchange them for 25s. Those were 24s, I needed 25s. These are 25s, but I can't decide. Like I don't feel like I loved them as much as I loved the last pair. I think I just can't decide if this, this is right. <laughs> I know it's trendy. I know this crop pant is trendy, but I just feel like I took a pair of pants and pulled them up so high that they came up high right here and they're now high waters down there. It's just the trend. I'm gonna have to decide if I'm getting behind it or not. Tell me if you are in your mid thirties to early forties, are you getting into this crop pant look? Like, what are your thoughts? I can't tell if it's better. If I had like on a high heel or a wedge, would it make it better? Would it make it cuter? 
<laughs> I don't know. Uh, the jeans over, the, these same jeans over at Trunk Club were 198 here they're 142 which is a little more than 20 percent off so i have my 20 percent discount but uh at 198 that's that's closer to maybe like a 25 percent discount i'm really bad at math but somewhere in there so um the price is very fair i've just got to decide is it me and this cute top is 78.40 i'm gonna be honest this does not feel like a 78 dollar shirt um, it's by Design History, which is a cheaper brand. So I don't know how I feel about spending that much on just like a basic black top. I like state metal tops if I'm spending that much. I mean, out of the box, we got eight items and I can easily say four of them I love. Like they like nailed the style. If you're not trying trends in with every, I say give it a try. You can go down below, you can get the 20% off and you can get your first box for like, I think a dollar style fee. Okay, I have so many more unboxings coming your way. I have a lot of these like popular ones that everybody's doing that I'm trying on. We're talking about, I have a tendency to lean in a little bit harder on the OGs, the ones who have been around. And I am trying so hard to lean in and find really great obscure boxes. And I have to say, I've been striking gold. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe and go back just a few videos. In the month of March alone, I've been super impressed with these cool boxes we're finding, like ethically made fashion at price points cheaper than this box, curated thrift clothing at obviously cheaper than this, uh, a home decor for the entry of your home. I'm talking about super, super cool boxes. So subscribe if you have not already and come hang out with us. We release videos about three times a week on all sorts of fun topics, as long as they are a subscription box. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day, and I look forward to your feedback on what I should keep, because I've only had this box for about one hour, so I've got some time. You guys have an amazing day. See y'all later. Bye, y'all.